All right, so let's provide an overview of what you need to do to wrap up MP2. Um, okay, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and turn off the emulator. Um, but what do we have working so far? So at this point, what happens uh, in AdPlace activity is it starts up and the cancel button works. Um, so what you need to do is you need the save button to work. Now, the save button, if I open up my uh, layout, the save button is just another button. It's actually the same kind of component as the add, uh, the cancel button. And so you can really use the same approach. Now, obviously what this button does is gonna be different. So you have to put different code in the on-click event handler, but you can use the same idea. Um, one way to think about your job here is that you need to assemble all the information that you need to make a successful post request to the server. And essentially, if you think about how the client uh, post favorite place works, you need to pass a place. So what do I need to create a place? I need an ID. Uh, we added that ID right here, and that's what we expect you to use is the ID from the favorite places application. So that's where the ID comes from. I need a latitude and a longitude. Now this is a little bit of a challenge. Remember, these pieces of information were provided in the intent that was used to start your ad place activity. That information is available to the ad place activity. I'm not gonna show you how to retrieve it, but you can figure it out. So that's where the latitude and longitude are gonna come from. So the ID, the latitude, the longitude, the name. Now you can make up any name you want. As long as it's not empty, you're fine. You can use Gracie, you can use Mickey Mouse. You know, the name is up to you. Um, the last thing is the description. Now the description comes from the user's interaction with this particular activity. Um, and we need to go back to our layout and we're gonna see there is a edit text field. Now your job is to retrieve the contents of the edit text field and to include them in the place that you pass to post favorite place. So in the save button handler, you have to assemble all these pieces of information. You create a new place, you pass that place to post favorite place, because we built that into the client for this purpose. When that returns, you will go back to the main menu. Um, so you, you post the favorite place, you know, normally probably we would put like a waiting indicator or something, but you know, you can do that if you want to, it probably won't break anything. Um, you know, and, and then when it's done, you go back to the main menu. Now that's what we're going to test in the test suite. If you would like to, there are probably some improvements that you can make to this. So for example, you could do things like make sure the description isn't empty. Probably not good if someone's favorite place doesn't have a description. Uh, we don't test that, but you're welcome to include that in your logic. The other thing you can do is if the uh, post favorite place fails for some reason, you could try to display an error message to the user. We're not gonna test uh, cases that fail. We've already tested that server logic in a previous test, but you might wanna have nicer behavior on the client when that happens. So there's a couple of kind of improvements and little additions and add-ons that you can do if, if you're adventurous and you want to learn a little bit more about how to learn things on your own. Um, you know, but, but we're not gonna take you too much farther than this point because one of the things that we are trying to teach you and we are do hope you learn and start to learn throughout your experiences in this class and particularly on this project is how to learn on your own, how to find out information, how to make forward progress, you know, without necessarily always needing a whole course staff and a bunch of people here to answer questions and guide you. The more you can do with resources at your disposal on the internet by finding things out, reading existing code, trying things, experimenting, the more progress you can make on your own and the more fulfilling you will find, you know, a career and a life sort of in technology, right? Because you'll be able to do things, you know, without needing a lot of help from other people and try out your own ideas and create cool things and just generally have a lot of fun. Um, okay. So those are your tasks. Essentially, you need to you know, get the save button to work and you need to make a post with all the information in it to the server, go back to the main application, main activity, excuse me, and then you should be able to see that new favorite place on the map. I would suggest that you uh, test this in the emulator. Take the emulator, start it up, long press. You can even just use the default description, hit save. It should go back to the main activity and right where you press, you should see a new pin. At that point, the test suites will probably pass and you will be done with MP2. Good luck.